So uh, ultimately, I've got some questions that I want you guys to think about. As an energy practitioner, what is it that you're trying to accomplish? Ask yourself, what is it you're really trying to accomplish by doing this? Are you trying to achieve power? started working with what I'm doing now and even and I've been practicing some form it for a very long time what really brought me into all of it was trying to prove to myself whether God existed or not and I did and it does okay my goal in all of it after the proof was to create a connection with God and to create a connection with the one and then to start to understand the intelligences that are governing universal functions. I think a lot of people get sidetracked as what it is they're really trying to achieve here. As I've said before, I get a lot of people who always ask me, how do I get access to more power? What good is more power without having the knowledge, the 100% in and out knowledge of what you can already do with the amount that you can push? How much knowledge have you gained from it? Have you just gone out and played? Have you just gone out and, you know, do this a little bit, do that a little bit. You get a few results, it's kind of cool, it's kind of fun, but it's not exactly what you get to see on YouTube. Believe me when I say, and I'm not saying this to like bait you or anything, but what I show on YouTube is very tiny. It's very small, very small into the, in comparison to how much can actually be done, and how much I've actually done. That is beginning phase level stuff. Do not worry about being able to push a ton of energy. A ton of energy truly comes with either A, the knowledge to be able to bring it and cultivate it every single time, or B, the solar flares which make the place windy enough for you to do it very easily in the first place. Or C, comes from outside governing forces that would like to manipulate you and use you for uh, purposes that may not be honorable. Power is not what you're trying to cultivate. Knowledge and a connection and love, at least, is what I. This is the reason why I have the access that I do. If you try to cultivate power, believe me, there's going to be something that, there that will be willing to grant it, but it may not be something that you want yourself attached to. And secondly, it may be something that's weaker than yourself Anything promising you power is doing so, so it can set you up or use you or barter you to something else. I know this as fact. Okay? It's not a fact that I can prove, and I'm sure people go, oh, prove that. I don't need to. <laughs> Believe me when I say I don't need to. And it's funny to me the many people who do act so self assured as if they know everything that's going on on this planet. Which is the reason why they're always like, oh, there's nothing here, there's nothing happening, there's nothing this, there's nothing that. Shh. Make a fool of yourself that way. And you make a fool of the rest of the human race when you try to attempt to speak for it. 
don't. Don't. Nonetheless, do not be the type of person which has helped to sink this place over and over and over again. Do not be the type of person that tries to take advantage of knowledge to you and use it as control or power over someone else. It's played out. What we should be doing is sharing knowledge so every single one of us can have access and better ourselves and learn to evolve so that way we are a benefactor to our environment and to everyone around us. Check and make sure how much time I got left here. So we want to be something different. At least I want to be something different. And I am something different. I work on that every single day of my life. I believe humanity can be as advanced as any being that is out there from the stars. Believe me, there's plenty out there. And believe me, there are plenty of beings on this planet here that actually walk among you, okay? On different frequencies, they can see you, or some of them can see you, you can't see them. But there's plenty of beings here that would seem alien to you from the looks of it, and they're not alien at all. They've been here. This is their planet. They're just walking around on a different frequency. Your eyes can't see them. Your ears can't fit or hear them. Your body can't feel them. They're on their wave. We're on our wave. There's so much going on down here that it is silly. So that's one of the reasons why there are tons of beings down here and tons of aliens and etc. Because, quite frankly, a lot of them are just either A, getting a show or B, running experiments. Yeah, this is an entertaining place for a lot of beings. They like to sit and watch us. It's the truth. And so whether you choose to believe that or not, that is your thing. I've had more than enough interactions now at this point to know exactly what I'm talking about. And we're not talking like, you know, just two or three interactions in my life. We're not talking about 10 or 20. We're talking about daily interactions all the time, and it's just the way it is. And so, there you have it. Um, think what you want. Take this information or this knowledge for whatever you choose to take it for. Um, but I can say this spectrum of things and what you're inside of is absolutely magnificent. It's grandiose. It's spectacular. And it can be as amazing as you'd like it to be or it can be as dull and grindy, boring, and you can stay here and think of yourself as a slave for the rest of your life. Literally, if you decide that the Illuminati, literally, if you decide that these politicians and everybody else don't even exist in your mind. You'd be surprised how much juice that takes away from them. We are one. We are love. We truly are peace and we truly are true. Now, it all depends on how much separation that you want to wallow in personally. If you want to choose to stay separate and continue doing that sort of thing, then you can reject the idea that we are love, one, peace, and truth. But once you once you get to a certain understanding, you'll realize that if there is only one mass intelligence, which there truly is, then it is only made of one mind. And then everything else was just kind of set up for our own entertainment. Yeah. Polarities and everything else. All that stuff that exists talked to you about it before, profiling. Okay, it's also part of the game. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto. It's actually like Grand Theft Auto. No difference, actually. So, remember, I said, profiling. 
see if we're going to evolve, see if you're going to beat the game. Will you evolve? Eternal love.